fire at will, guys. John, you feeling real confident uh, right now going into this fight? I'm uh, feeling very excited, yes, confident. You know, I don't think I'll ever find any fighter that's be like, oh, you know, I wish actually the fight was another week away. But, uh, no, we're, we're feeling uh, uber confident. Uh, I feel good. I'm ready. We did it. We did our job and we're ready for the fight. What uh, kind of effect fight are you expecting? Obviously, I think we're all kind of expecting a war. Are you expecting the same? <clears throat> I got to expect the best version of Omar. Like I said, he's a smart kid. So some of his comments that he did make in the past, I don't know if he's trying to entice me into a war right away. I don't know what his game plan is, you know. So we'll find out the 16th, but we're prepared for anything. How do you think he's trying to entice you? Like, what have you been well, hearing? Well, by saying, oh, you're not going to make it past the fourth round. Oh. To me... I don't know. I don't think he's that naive because he's pretty smart, but we'll see. Well, he gave you more of a better benefit. He said six rounds to us earlier. Maybe he saw the way I looked today. I don't know. He gave you two more rounds. <laughs> he saw the jacket, bro. The Cobra jacket. jacket. Guy. <laughs> yeah. That was it. I knew it. Look, talk is cheap. February 16th, show up, watch the fight, Fox. You're going to get a war. Let's be honest, and Leo is a great friend of mine. This is the main event, me and Omar. This is, this is what the fans are coming to see, I, I believe, in my heart. I could be wrong, but I think if you ask a panel of guys, they know that the fight is Omar Figueroa and John Molina. Why not uh, box in there instead of, or are you planning to box in there and show more of the stuff that you've been working on? I'm planning on going out there and fighting. Um, again, as I said, that Omar's a smart kid, I don't want to reveal my cards right now. They're expecting X, Y, and Z, and I'm going to have to pull out of the bag something different. This ain't my first go around with Joel Diaz. I did it once before with Provodnikov, and now it's my job to go out there and do it again with Figueroa. Are you surprised? I was talking to some um, of your team members. They were talking about the girl, uh, I guess, odd style, like you're a heavy underdog, like a plus 400 or something. Are you I think I'm plus surprised 350. about that? Uh, no, I mean, Every one of my fights, all the fans have, has, have made money, and it's going to be another fight to make money on. So, no, I'm not. I think Provodnikov was 11 to 1. Um, you uh, become a veteran in the sport to where you don't worry about the, the hype, if you will. And, um, no, I mean, damn, those hot dogs smell good, whatever they are. I'll take <laughs> tacos. Uh, tacos. <laughs> but, um, no, it doesn't bother me. You know, like I said, talk is cheap. And if the bookies want to pay out, they'll pay out. Do you take advantage of that ever yourself when you realize no, you're a big you know, underdog? I don't. There's already a lot at stake for me. You know what I mean? So I don't need to. It's like extra pressure, right? There, not, not pressure. Nothing, none of it's pressure. But there's already a lot at stake. So why, why do that for a quick few thousand dollars? No, it's not worth it to me. Mm -hmm. my, focus, that, my focus is the fight. What's at stake for you? My everything. Every fight. Every fight of my career is my biggest fight. I was never given the Sipper Spoon. I came out the back roads. I didn't have a lofty amateur career. You know, so everything I, I had to fight and scratch for, for everything I've ever had. And there's only one other fighter I, I can think of right now that's in the game that's kind of like similar to me, which would be Jose De Lopez. And uh, we, we've earned everything we, we've gotten to this point in our career. What do you think about his fight with... Uh, I think he fought a hell of a fight. I think he showed his heart. I take my hat off to Thurman for taking someone like him, like Lopez, who's no easy task for anybody, especially coming off the last fight that he had. He looked really, really good in before the Thurman fight. So I think both their stock went up for that fight. And maybe, well, Lopez's stock went up. Thurman's, maybe he looked a little more vulnerable. I don't know. Maybe that'll be good for him. But keep in mind, he was, he was out for almost two years. How's, uh, I know the weight was supposed to be at a higher weight, but they asked for 140. They so asked for you, I'm how's looking, 140? I'm looking right now, and I look like I'm good. I'm not wearing plastic bags. I'm not wearing a sauna suit. Now, if I don't make weight, that's going to be bad, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Better make weight but, now. Yeah, all right, I'll make it. No, um, no I mean, I know, my, I know my team doing their job. And, you know, that's the least of my worries. You know, everyone, oh, are you worried he's going to make weight? No, I can care less. That's not my job to worry about him. My job is to worry about him on the 16th, not right now. Now, take take the boxing out of this. How has cutting down the weight 
uh, gotten harder or better as you've gotten older? Has it? No, it just forced me to be more intelligent. You gotta be a little smarter. You don't just put on a sauna suit and go run in the sauna for an hour. You don't not eat for two weeks to make weight. You don't dehydrate yourself a week before the fight to look flat in the fight. All these fighters have it backwards. And again, talk is cheap. I can say all this and it sounds amazing, but until I show you, like I did in Pravodnikov, I threw over a thousand punches, then it makes sense. I weighed in at 139.8 and it came in at 163 that night of the fight. Because I did it the right way. That's because I didn't go eat all this food. I did it the right way. But again, talk is cheap until I show you. I gotta, I gotta show you first. What's the right way then? When I show you on the 16th, then I'll tell you the whole story. <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be a great book. But again, like I said, talk is cheap. It really, it sounds ignorant if I say, hey, I'm doing it the right way. And then you, you lay a goose egg the night of the fight. So after the 16th, we can have this conversation. So for the most part, it, it, because you've done it right, it hasn't been hard the older you've gotten. Yes. No, if I didn't, okay, now, hard is the is, is word there. It's always hard. Mm -hmm. it's, it's hard for you I would guys say to like go to more, work more every day. challenging. There we go. No, not at all. It's actually, it's become easier now mm. because I'm more intelligent now. I have experience. That's invaluable. And it's, um, I enjoy, it's become easier, a lot easier. So it blew me away. All right, so how do you end the fight? How do I end the fight? Yeah, leave us on that. On With that my point. hands raised yeah? and a victory. A certain um, punch or anything? It, it, visualizing a certain combination? I mean, again, I'd be an ignorant person to tell you that now before the fight, but it's going to be a war. I expect the best version of Omar Figueroa. I know Joel wants me. and We're, we're good friends, but I know Joel wants me. I, I, what do you mean by that? What do you mean I by that, bro? Remember, I was a heavy <laughs> underdog okay. against Provodnikov. I'm just messing with you. Okay, okay. <laughs> I, I didn't think you were that ignorant. But it gave me the benefit of the doubt. But. That's where all the ignorant talk was yeah. directed. Uh, <laughs> hey, well, that's one record. Oh, all I know. John, wait, 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 I'm going to call you out. Oh, all I know oh. against Victor Ortiz. There was one guy picking against me, and that was this guy. Ah, oh, you still, <laughs> still <laughs> shit about Everyone that? Everyone is entitled to their own opinion. And I respect it. Yeah. I would still buy a beer. Not yeah. a problem. You always I bust my balls. I told you I was going to come out on top. You did. One. <laughs> one way or the other, you I did. I came out on top. <laughs> one way or the other, you did. <laughs> no, no mercy. Yeah, hey, like I said, everyone's opinion is entitled to their opinion. I knew there was something to even, that. Even, even the bookies. Ah, John. But it is what it is, brother. <laughs> what do you think his weakness is, being that you watch his tape, seen him fight, you know, you watch him eat all his food, lose all his it, weight? It, it's not... A weakness that I see, it's a style that will accommodate my style that I see. Okay, and you can say I did this, this, and that, but when you watch the career path that he had and you watch his past fights, it's never changed. So when the going gets tough, these are going to get thrown, and we're going to see who has the heavier firepower. Is that what you're looking forward to? That moment? I mean, that's my whole career's been that. But it's going to be done strategically. And, um, you know, you can't take a lot away from when he fought Guerrero. You can't take, I mean, there's certain fights, you can't take away from other fights because I'm not Guerrero. I'm not him stature wise, I'm not him style wise. So you can't take anything away from that. But, what does it say if it walks like a duck and it quacks like a duck? It must be a duck, right? So. But I'll tell you after February 16th. When you say it's strategy, I feel like that something like that might happen in like a firefight, like in an exchange like that. So is the strategy just to get him into a fight to to, to, to I make mean, that opportunity happen? I guess happen? I'll be playing my cards right up and say yes. <laughs> really no. You know, so who knows? We'll see February 16th. I got to see what I have in front of me. Got to see if it makes weight. But, um, <laughs> it's um, it's going to be a fun fight. He's he's a hell of a competitor. And he's got an O. And these guys protect that O like nobody's business. Maybe that's why the fight hasn't happened in four years. I don't know. Thank you, man. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Appreciate it.